I'm behind the smoke, if you guys can't see me. Welcome hey guys. back to another one of our Bonfire Beer Reviews. Yep. Tell us what we got on the tap today. Today we are having a new Orthodox IPA series, Boss Tweed Double IPA. 9.31 ABV and a 68 IBU. Okay, so this is a New England style double IPA. By the way, as an interjection, we are truly out here in sweatshirts and no hats. Yeah. No hats, no coats. Today was um, almost 60 degrees here. Yeah. Which is beautiful weather. So uh, our bonfire beer review, the bonfire is actually not that necessary. No. Yeah, well, it's always necessary to have a fire. <laughs> it's always necessary <laughs> well, to have a fire. It's raining ashes. Oh, boy. Protect Again? your beer. Again? Protect your beer. Okay, so there's five reviews from people that we know. Let's see if I have any YouTube shout out here. Brad Ellison. He gave it a 4.5 out of 5. Holy cow. We have Tyler Finkbinder. He gave it a 5. Wow. He gave it a 5 out of 5. And it says, call me OJ the Juice Man. No Hype also did this one. He said, fire. Okay. He didn't say anything but fire with like with a bunch of exclamation points so there's 13,000 overall rates giving a 4.4 so really really strong um from the people we know it's a 4.7 out of five this is a very high esteemed beer it says juicy citrus smooth hoppy and full body there is 1800 views just this month that's crazy it's a double ipa go okay. ahead and give us a sniff Let's on that one it's hazy it is it is definitely hazy oh citrus Wow. Like what kind of citrus are we talking here? Like fire citrus. <laughs> you making fun of Kyle? No. It's a sweet citrus. Oh, tell me one of those our, nights. You know what, guys? Our, uh, I'm sorry, but our wood from the uh, woods behind us is very, very wet and has been playing havoc all night. Also, we're burning so. birch, like uh, fallen birch tree limbs and stuff. So it, it definitely it's burns yeah. really. It's very smoky and it pops a lot. So if we're like doing weird matrix moves, it's because of the smoke. Okay, what do you sniff another than citrus? Fire. <laughs> Maybe that's what <laughs> Kyle was doing. He was doing a bonfire beer. Maybe he was. Just really citrus, mango, tropical, but okay. citrus. Um, a little bit heavy. Okay. In the nose, but it's, a, it smells good. Sniff. Let's just, let's do it that way. Yeah. That's literally all I smell. I smell actually pineapple, mango, and yeah, like tropical, orange. tropical, tropical yeah. citrus, and heavy. Yeah, which is what so, it said, full body. I'm really looking forward to this. All right, get in there. Oh, I'm so grateful that the, the smoke is gone. Oh, never mind. Smoke too soon? I oh smoke too soon. Oh my God, is there a five and a half rating? Is it that good? Wow. Is it that good? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where in Michigan is this one from? I don't know it's Old na Nation, which is probably, oh yeah. Williamston, Michigan. It was warm, so she put it in a, uh, well, in a chunk of ice on the lawn. And I said, babe, why'd you throw my beer down? <laughs> she said, I didn't. I placed it in the ice so that it would get cold. Anyway. Because um, it says in the bottle to drink um, drink it colder than you typically would a double. Dry hops and regular hops. Um, there's Pills, Malt, Wheat, Oat, Vienna. Then there's Boiled Hops, which is Magnum, Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. And then there's dry hops, which is Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, and Azaka. So everything Founders uses in one beer. That's crazy. That's so you have the Azaka, you have the Mosaic. Yeah, so make a lot of hops. Literally, all the things you like about the Founders. There's four Founders sessions that you like. They're all in there in one no beer. Wonder it's good. I do I hate it. I love it. That's delicious. <laughs> you can like just divert me with smoke so I don't take the beer. It's good, yeah. It's like a good it's, it's a good beer. Woo. It's very smooth, it's very subtle, it's not bitter at all. It does not taste like a double IPA I've ever had. And it's 9.3 like, ABV, so it's pretty darn it's good. It's amazing and it doesn't taste like a double. It's so juicy, it really tastes like juice. Yeah. Don't say tropical torpedo. It doesn't taste like tropical torpedo because it's not bitter. <laughs> It's not bitter, so I wouldn't say that. It ta I taste pineapple, I taste mango, I taste papaya, I taste uh, a little bit of apricot, I taste a little bit of orange. It's good. It's very zesty. It's really yeah, good. It's really good. Really Old good Nation, beer. Way to go on that. Yeah. So I am doing also a tropical beer, I hope. 
Um, it says the spirit of summer in a bottle. Mine is Malibu beer. The lager with natural coconut flavor added. When I saw this at the store, I really truly believed that this was not a beer. I thought this was a wine cooler. It does or, look like a wine cooler. Or a hard cider or something like that. Yeah, it looks or like it, a... Yeah, I, I like, I'm like, okay, that's not a beer. I looked at the label and I'm like, okay, it says beer. Are they being deceptive? And then I looked further Liars. and I'm like, wow, no, it's, it's a lager. So it is a beer. Okay, so it's only 5% ABV, which is not really inconsistent with a lager. Pretty standard. Um, it's a pale lager. No shock there. No one we know has rated this beer. We are the first. There is 4,300 reviews overall, giving it a 2.5. Really? So, <laughs> interesting. I mean, mine's like a five and a half. Here's 2.5. This is a collaboration with Malibu um, coconut flavoring, and it's done with Penrod Ricard, which is a cidery and meadery in France. So this is actually French, and it's made from a company that makes mead and cider. So it cool. kind of makes sense makes that sense. it looks that way. There's been 41 just this month, which is pretty low in general. Coconut, sweet, sweetness, warm and strong are the tasting notes. But I have a few people in general and on tap that have given it a, a 0.5, like less than point, a one. Point, wow. Like less than a one. I have one person that gave it um, 3.5, said it tastes sweeter than lamb shark. I don't know well, that beer, so I don't know if that's good or not. Saddle up for that. A lot of people gave it a one. There's one person who gave it a 4.7. It's really all over the board, but overall, pretty terrible, dismal num numbers. Enjoy your beer. Well, we're trying it together. Ash out. Carbonation is medium. A lot of bubbles at the bottom. The head is extremely active, but there aren't a lot of bubbles rising from the bottom to the top. It's like episode eight all over again. Well. Drink it well, it's not smoky. Can you smell the head? I can smell the head, but I'm mainly just getting foam on my nose. Yeah. Remember that one time? I do. That happened multiple times. It did. All I smell is coconut. Yep. All right, I'm going in, guys. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, it's worse than the smoke in the eyes. Oh, my God. How is that 5%? <laughs> this is a fake beer. This is not real. Let me see. It. I give it a one and a half. Oh, really? It's, that's not, I mean, that, not because it's terrible to drink. Like, it's not like I'm going to throw up. It doesn't taste bad. But it tastes very syrupy, very thick. Very, very sweet. It's the worst beer I've ever had in my life. It's not a beer. I would gladly, like, if I had the choice between this beer and Cat Natty Hits. Daddy or Rolling Rock or PBR or Coors or Budweiser or Platinum or Heineken or any of those domestics, That's terrible. I would drink any of those beers. I would go back to Florida, I would get a Corona, and I would say, smash that smash that lime inside that bottle. Yep. I just had a Malibu beer and I need to revive myself. That one's, it's terrible. This is not great. It's terrible. So, I, I can see the .5. It's bad. <coughs> it's bad. It's like the worst lager you could ever have mixed with coconut water. Yeah. And then like, just for good measure, let's dump some sugar. It's bad. It's not the spirit of summer. It's the spirit of dump it down the drain. It's the spirit of nothing. Yep. Give it back. Honey, it's so much better. Don't make me get the knife. Oh, jeez. You're a turd <laughs> No one talks to you. Oh, that's good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed another one of our bonfire beer reviews. Our smoky bonfire beer. Hey, guys, have a wonderful night, and cheers. Cheers to your terrible beer. Cheers.
Here's to your delicious beer. I don't wish that beer in my worst day. Can't do it, guys. Really can't do it. Is that bad? Yeah, I mean, I'll get the 10 cents back from the bottle return. I don't expect anything else. I want my taste buds back. <laughs>